Have you ever felt? Are you listening? <laughs> Damn. I am super duper stoked. Something came just now that I have been very worried would not come before moose season. My business partner, Dan, uh, got his moose license here in New Brunswick. It's a draw. Uh, you have to select a zone and apply for that for a draw. He got it. I'm the second gun. I don't have, I don't have any rain gear. I don't think at all other than what I used two years ago to snow plow with. So that is wildly too hot and it's black with reflective uh, yellow. Uh, so it wouldn't work. So I did a bunch of research, asked a bunch of people on Facebook here in the province and, and uh, I think on a bigger uh, Facebook page, what the best stuff would be for noise, especially the biggest criteria I had was quality and it ain't gonna leak. This just showed up on my doorstep and I, I actually emailed them because it wasn't supposed to come until the 18th. And yesterday it didn't show, it showed that it was still at their facility, hadn't been picked up yet. So I messaged them and this afternoon a whole bunch of updates came where I'd say that the system hadn't been updated anyway. So it, it arrived. So for those of you that don't know what this is, it's a company called, I think it's QU, Q, K, U, I, U, Q, U. And they rate very, very good for, for hunting equipment, rain gear especially. I typically use Sitka, but their rain gear did not have very good ratings from people that actually left rating. These guys, these guys had some of the best ratings where people were absolutely very happy with the product, very happy with the service. Um, and I believe if memory serves me, I think I went a size bigger so that I'm, I'm the plan is to use it. Sometimes I will use it standalone, uh, for the outer, for the outer layer. But a lot of times I want to be able to pack it in my bag and put it on if I kind of get caught out when I'm not expecting it to. So this stuff, that, that was another criteria that I had is it has to be packable. It has to be fairly lightweight, right? In the past I've used oil, I call them oil clothes. We call them oil clothes in the commercial fishing industry. And it's just that uh, polyurethane coated nylon bibs and jack, what fishermen use, right? So I'm used to that from working on the salmon site and working uh, lobster fishing and herring fishing and things like that. And that's what we use. It's what I, I use when I go ATVing as well in the summertime, if it's wet out. And I, <laughs> the stuff that I have is now, it's uh, old and cracked, so it doesn't work. So this stuff is, uh, it's similar to Gore-Tex. I don't believe, I'd have to look, be sure it isn't Gore-Tex. But this is the Katana Storm Shell Jacket. And I got it in double XL. So it's a, it's a size bigger than what I would normally wear. And it's my first time. I've never even had this stuff in my hand before. So this, the shell jacket, fairly lightweight, very lightweight actually compared to the, the polyurethane stuff. Um, supposed to be breathable and, and it feels durable. Hardware is really good. It's got cinch tabs with a shot cord around the waist, the zipper, the waterproof zipper, waterproof zipper on the pockets, pit zips to vent, two top pockets forward here, pit zip on the right. What else we got? Like a storm hood with a bit of a brim on it with a cinch on that. Where's the... How does that work? Goes down to, okay. So it's internal, I think. Oh, okay. Tabs for the for the uh, hood are down just below the collar. 
you pull down and I think you, the cinch is internal. Okay, which it is. And then there's another cinch on the back to tighten up so the hood's not flapping. So that's the jacket and that's a, that's a size larger. So we'll try it on here in a second. A size larger than what I need. I also needed this uh, for moose hunting, obviously moose hunting, but I'm going to use it here early season for for ducks and geese and things like that. Another thing that I, I just thought this was neat, so I ordered it. Um, same material, it's a beanie hat, which I might use for tomorrow's uh, goose hunt. I got that in an extra large, so I might even use it kayaking as well. <laughs> so there's this. This guy is one of their hats. So we got that. I also got their storm shell pant. And what size did I get on that? Extra large short. So I didn't go reading. I think reading, you're only going to have a layer underneath. Whereas with the jacket, you might have a couple layers. So I went with an extra large short on the pants. And one thing I have read is if things don't fit, you can send it right back and they'll, they'll send you the right, they'll send you the right size. So we're, we're going to try this stuff on real quick. A little bit of literature that came with it, but I'll put it on. I'll be right back. Very glad with my uh, size choices. Double XL, there's room here for layers. And with the double XL, um, I normally wear, like in my Sitka gear, I'm wearing extra large. This gives me a little tiny bit more room than my XL Sitka. Room for layers and definitely room for movement. The true size pants are fitting nicely over my regular pants that I have on. I got a pair of Carhartt, just regular work pants on right now. And they fit perfectly over them. And I feel like they would still work as a single main layer. So it's perfect. I can get some winter layers under this if I want to use it in uh, in, in green areas uh, later in the season. Perfect for early season. Perfect for moose here. Early goose in fields that are green. And uh, early for, or good for early season uh, archery whitetail here. And then mid-season whitetail uh, rifle. And then maybe even late season, now we have muzzleloader. So, uh, so far, just unboxing uh, the the uh, Katana, so Katana Storm Shell pants and jacket. Super happy with it. So this is great. Love this. So as I use it, I'll do a couple more review videos once I'm out in the field. Um, Give you a better idea how it works. There's a little bit of literature that came with it. Become a three-year SCI member. Well, you get a gift card for hundred dollars if you turn on the Safari Club. To check that out, I guess. Get a couple of them here. There's that, and they have a new introducing encounter collection. Face fire. Face interior. Anyway, so that's that. Super happy they give you some return info as well if need be. So I'm so happy I get to use this stuff goose hunting tomorrow. So I'm happy this came. And uh, anyway, keep an eye out for actual me using it. I'll, I'll probably video tomorrow's goose hunt and post that as well. Um, but unboxing, zippers seem like they're going to work well. Pants have uh, waterproof zippers on them. Material feels durable. Um, but we'll see how that goes. I mean, I'm not going to say just because it's known for being durable. We'll, we'll see how I make out with it. So, so far unboxing size larger on the top and uh, normal size on the bottom fits very well as a outer layer. Um, and it, as far as I'm concerned, will work very well for uh, just a normal layer with, you know, underwear and a t-shirt on as well. So that's the QU. I believe is how it's pronounced. Uh, Katana Storm Shell Collection. Thanks for watching. Give me a shout if you have any questions.